It has been a while since I played a wonder. Hopefully this will go well. Hopefully we won't all die in agonizing hellfires. See if I can rem remember a build order or three. Um, I am just left of middle on the south side. If you are in the north side, you need to shut down the stream at this time. We do not like cheaters around these parts. We got a cheap jaguar on our team and he is Seraphim. Uh, Zegolta is also on our team. So yes, the mother of all stacks has arrived. He is also Seraphim. We got Mr. Falls. He is UEF as well as Permutation and in the air slot unbalanced with the Seraphim faction. So he's going to have double rats. Awesome for the late game air. Okay, Mex is ahoy. Let's get some of those things under our belts and build some engineers to get that hydro online. We should have a total of, um, these are actually mine. These are mine. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then whatever we can claim in the middle. And yes, there is mass in the middle. There's an Omni. There are various and sundry things to reclaim. So you want to get into the center at some point. Otherwise, you're going to die. Let's get some power online. Get some P-Gens up after that. Do, 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 do. And after that, I got to decide what I'm doing. I think I'm walking forward. Let's walk over here, Max. Walk over here, Max. And then we will walk somewhat closer to the front. So we really, really need to get as many land units online as we possibly can. Because this map is absolute hell. The whole thing is open territory. And run buys are wickedly powerful. So we're going to assist that. We're going to send one more engineer. And then we're going to start scout and three tanks. So that next engineer is going to come down here to the mass extractor. Grab that mass and that. And then we're going to queue to the front. So that we can hopefully get some good stuff online. And I just realized that I hit the mother of all power stalls because I built too much stuff. That is a major gaffe. I started building my next mass extractor before the hydro finished. And if you do that, you don't have enough storage. I did not realize that it would start building so quickly. Brink's build order fails for the win. Balancing up games since 19 freaking 92. All right, we need to get that, get the mass, get over there. There should be, yep, big boulder. Let's grab him. And then are there other things? We're going to go snatch some stuff if our engineer does not die. So permutation 1000 rank is on that side. Not too shabby. Um, you need to queue over here. We got a tank and a scout to cover this side and my ACU is going to be over on this side of the gap. So I think all my bases are going to be covered reasonably well and we just need to get, uh, let's see, we've got plenty of power up. Let's start building our land factory spam. So we're going to do four land factories around this mechs, which is going to be the first mechs that I T2. There are some threatening units over there, but nothing too bad. You are going to build only engineers, which are going to come and reclaim all of this crap. What are you doing? Don't do that to me. All right, so we got that. Cue up the rock, and I'll be less greedy this time. Okay, we've got plenty of power. Let us go for OP Guncom. Because OP Guncom is the bomb. And we've got three tanks. Let's put them to use. We're going to go over there. Assist that. So that we get some good uh, good intel for our Auroras. As you've heard me say a hundred thousand times before. Aurora's attack range is longer than their vision radius. So if you do not have scouts with your Auroras. They are effectively paper to everyone else's super soaker. That is a very weird analogy. But whatever. Oh, crap. Nobody ran for that Omni. That's not good. Is it still there? That's the question. Ah, my teammate doing a little run-by action. Cannot complain about that. 
Okay, so there is still actually a radar there. When my gun upgrade's done, if he hasn't gotten it yet, I will go get it. But at the moment, I'm not really in a position to do that. Next engineer out is going to assist this. Where's my gun upgrade at? Should I stall it out? Nope, we're going to pause. Um, you are going to build even more land factories. Because land factories are love, land factories are life, yo. So we're going to do that. We got a T1 bomber over there, which is a little disconcerting. But we'll do all right with. Oh, craptastic. We got a whole lot of units over there. Okay, so everybody needs to come up this way. If anybody does dare come after my ACU, they're in for a horrifying surprise. Need more Auroras out to the front line. Got plenty of reclaim coming in. We're going to go for a T2 mass extractor. And all should be well with the world. I'm going to go grab this a little bit of mass. And we're going to reorder some ish reissue some move orders over to this side because at the moment there is not a whole lot protecting this side of our map okay so you're gonna go there reclaim that right from the very very edge you should be able to reach it and then we're gonna run all the way back to protect our territory we should also where did that stinking engineer go there you go actually let's just grab a couple of you we're gonna assist with you you're going to come to the front. You're going to build us a radar. Because radars are freaking awesome. Uh, Scout, are you fast enough? You are not. However, we do have radar coverage. So uh, we are going to keep that scout handy for sure, for sure. Where is the freaking radar? I didn't build one. Is that really how many land scouts we have? I think it was. Land scouts and air scouts. Combination of them. We got a nice little dose of mass collection there, which is a good, good thing to have in your piggy bank. We got plenty of power. We're gonna finish that one, build an energy storage, and then start on a new trail. We need to start for T2 at some point, um, but right now I'm just gonna focus on getting some more tanks in the field. So we're gonna do that, and then you, my friend, are gonna go anti-air arty in your mix. We've already got one scout spewing factory, which is got two scouts out on the field, which is not too shabby. We're gonna reclaim with you. We're gonna surprise the hell out of this guy with a gun upgrade. Um, what faction was he? He is Seraphim, UEF, Seraphim, Seraphim. So I don't have to worry about any of these tanks outranging me. I can go in with my standard range on the ACU and do quite well. Do that right there. Thank you very much. And then over here to reclaim. We got to keep our coffers full of mass. Full of mass. I've actually outpaced my build power. So we're going to scale back a little bit. Get those engineers back out reclaiming. Oh, no, you don't. Back up. Back the hell up. All right. So there is an ACU over there which is not fantastic for me. We should probably get the range upgrade as well. And I do have an engineer out on the front line that can do that for me. And we are currently in a position to do so mass-wise. So let's go ahead and grab that. That is gonna let us absolutely power through the T1 hordes over here and hopefully put in a bit of pressure which will let us win this thing relatively early. No fear is on their air slot, but he did draw UEF. So he's not going to have Mercies or Corsairs, which helps us out quite a bit on the uh, denying air snipes front. Mr. Falls is stealing some of my reclaim there, but I cannot fault him since I am not taking advantage of it. Gonna assist with the other engineer on our gun upgrade at the moment. We're not doing fantastically well on mass, but it's actually, I think, okay. Let's uh let's manually reclaim a couple of rocks here. Do 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 do. Get a little mass in the coffers, if you know what I mean. And we've got plenty of auroras that are back now to use in ACU killing exercises. We're gonna force him to pull his units back around. 
in order to eliminate this push here. You don't necessarily have to directly react to a push. You can counter push in a different area, and if those are their only units to react with, they will be forced to backtrack, and it works out well for you in the end. Achieve Jaguar just mass spamming the hell out of this game, which is exactly what I would expect from someone like Achieve Jaguar. We're gonna do a little bit of a crazy mix of units there, and also do that. Cue all factories to the front, and bring in our freaking Auroras. Uh, Photonic might have overstepped there. I should have stayed on him. I don't think he has the gun upgrade. But I am sure as hell gonna bring my ACU up, which is going to do a pretty phenomenal job of wiping out untold hordes of units. I'm gonna focus fire all of the Auroras on Photonic and worry about cleaning up all of this stuff with my ACU. So hopefully this will deal damage from out of range. Ooh, look. There's a potential triple. Oh, snap. Five. Sweet. Come on. Reload, 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 reload. Four. Boom. Three. Oh, well. It is what it is. All right, buddy. I'm gonna focus fire you down. You're dead. There is no way that you can run away in time. You can't escape my long-reaching gun. And he's gone with an overcharge. Got that kill for myself there. Took out a pretty good chunk of T1 units as well. I don't want to get too terribly greedy because I don't want to get air sniped, but I am going to go lay in some hurt on this base over here. I think pink is relatively undefended at the moment. That would be Trident Archer. So we're going to wipe him from the face of the earth. That is a gun comm. So we're going to pull back from that. Scratch that. No wiping from the face of anything. We're just going to run. We're going to focus fire the ACU because at the moment it looks like he is intent on suiciding me to take me out. So we're going to try to put some tanks in between him and us. Trip up the pathfinding to get out of range. He's at 7 and we're at 5, so he is actually within the range where he could nuke me. Uh, we're going to take everything we've got and put them in between us. 5,741. There's the pathfinding trip up I was looking for. Just Ah, dang it! That other gun comm is really being a pain in the butt. I got to run to the left. 27 and 3,500. He might actually get me with this one. Why is your ACU not tripping up? Dang it, man. There we go. There we go. I got him. No! He control K'd! Ah! No! Why you do this thing? He saw me getting out of range and control K'd his ACU out of spite, taking his teammate with him. But they did kill me. This is what I'm talking about when I talk about the caster's curse, guys. People don't care whether they win. They only care about killing me. But it's okay. We won the game. Achieve Jaguar mopping up his side about to take out Burfums. And... Nominominandum was, I think, winning his side. Eco-wise, he has T2 Mex's radar, T2 land. Whereas... His opponent, Permutation, has none of those things. So I think Nominominandum was in a good position. But... It is no matter, because there are now three players worth of spam descending upon the air player. <laughs> uh, Burfums is going to take out a pretty good chunk of units when he nukes. But alas, it is not going to be enough. Gotta kill that arty. And he's got two units up. Two T2 point defense. But I don't think that's gonna be anywhere near what he needs. I mean, seriously, man. Seriously. You're gonna need a lot more than that and a lot more mobile than that. All right. Just waiting for them all to die. Waiting for them all to die. Nominominandum taking heavy damage here. But you can see he does have the Ilshubas up and he does have 
superior economy. So he would sacrifice half the health on his commander for the sake of killing off the T1 spam and then sweep the side with T2 once he got it up in a strong position. So he actually played this game out really, really well. It's just that all of his teammates utterly and completely failed to keep back their opponents. Achieve Jaguar getting super brave here for only having a gun upgrade. He is in range of five freaking triads and only has 1,100 health. He's doing a pretty dang good job of dodging, which is good, but... Ah, there we go. Okay, so the point defense is now refocused on all of the units. The gunships could introduce a bit of a problem, though. If they actually manage to kill Jaguar, they might pull this back from the brink, but here comes the air. Interceptors to save the day from Unbalanced, and that is going to, I think, call it. They've got no units that can come up and hit these point defense at this time. Nobody on my side is T2. Oh, nope. Yellow just finished a T2 factory. Oh, nope. He's had the T2 factory and has T2 tanks on the front line. Brink knows not of what he speaks. The Chief Jaguar has no T2. There's no T2 over here. And there is only a T2 air factory over here, but he is moving to T3 air. So I guess you could say that T2 land is on the way. Oh, that's just nasty right there. That's just nasty. One missile and he's mid-upgrade. One freaking missile. Come on, assist it to load, assist it to load. You need it quicker. You could kill him. And now you can't. I suppose he wasn't loaded at all. If he would have built one and assisted it and then fired it instead of building the second one, he probably would have killed him. So interesting point of fact, if you build one TAC missile too far in front of the other one, it won't kill a UEF commander in, with two TAC missiles. Each TAC missile does 6,000 damage, and if there is one game tick in between the TAC missiles, one half of one second. The ACU will regen enough health to survive the second TAC missile. Which is, at some points, bullcrap when you think, Oh, I've got this. He can't lay a finger on me. And uh, you try to attack him to death, but then he just survives it and comes back and kills you. I've actually had that happen before. The... Uh, the TAC missile was my cheese victory condition, and it did not work. It did not work at all. Also, when someone's standing that close to a power generator, TAC missile them. Because the area of effect on the explosion from the TAC missile will damage them. The area of effect will kill the power generator, which will also damage them. So that was kind of a missed opportunity there. But uh, No Fear is going to fight to the bitter end, it appears. Oh, Namanamanandam finally bit off more than he could chew. Permutation is in with the gun upgrade. That is going to be it for Noms. He had all those Ilshavas, but he sent them to the back to try to help out with the flood of units on this side and ended up dying for it. No fear running out to embrace his oblivion. Burfams dancing around the edge of death trying to stay alive, but... I don't think that he is long for this world, unfortunately. 1,500 health surviving the nuke. Cleared out all the units around him, but a whole lot of good it's going to do. He's built himself four P-Gens and an energy storage in order to be able to overcharge, so he's going to try to stay alive as long as possible. In the end, however, it is all for naught, because he is going to die deader than a doornail. Chief Jaguar decided that just one more upgrade. One more upgrade, man. I gotta have that one more before I go and kill him. And he's not even gonna land a shot. Nope, yep, he died before the overcharge hit. <laughs> oh, Chief Jaguar's upgrade made him too late to the party. He, he just had to have that HP. 
Just had to have the extra HP. Oh, well, we've all made a mistake like that. Alrighty, guys, you know the drill. Let me reset a couple of things, pick a different map. I'll be right back.